everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This here is my dog Ollie. He's going to be helping us out today. So for a while now, my wife has been asking for a greenhouse on our property, and today seems like the perfect day to build one. We're going to get started with the gravel foundation today. Hopefully we can get it finished. We'll have to see what happens. Let's go show you where the greenhouse is going to be. Uh, but we're going to have to put Ollie in the truck first so he doesn't get in the mud. <laughs> there you go, Ollie. Be back in a sec. So right here, this big dirt patch, is where the greenhouse is going to go. So yesterday I took my tractor and the dirt scoop and kind of dug down a little bit so we got down to dirt. It'll be a much more stable platform for the gravel to go on. Uh, I was going to record that, but it was kind of rainy yesterday, and it's just, it took a while, so I don't know, I didn't think I would really care, so let's stake out our greenhouse. Alright, so we got our stakes on the ground where our gravel foundation is going to go. So our foundation is going to be about 12 feet wide by 14 feet long. So I don't know how much gravel that's going to be. We're, we're going to start with a couple trips to the landscaping supplier. We're going to go with probably at least a yard, maybe like a yard and a half, just because it's a pretty big area. We're going to use three quarter down. So let's make our first trip. Time to hook up the trailer. We got the trailer out, now we're going to fill up the tires a bit because they're a little low from sitting over the winter. Then we're going to head to the gravel store. I'll see you when I get back. That's it for Ollie. Wow, good boy. Time to shovel. Well, I ran into a bit of a snag. We had to get a second yard of gravel because one yard doesn't cut it. And uh, unfortunately, we hit an issue. The 70 year old uh, trailer tire finally gave up the ghost literally like 30 seconds after leaving the landscape supply. So, luckily for me, my mom and dad live super close to my house and super close to the landscape supply. So, I managed to drag her on home. And it looks like dad has a tire for us and a rim in the uh, stash of tires he has so we're gonna attempt to <laughs> fix this and get it back on the road so we can keep going on the project. It's rising. As luck should have it, my dad had an actual tire that fit this. And this trailer must be made from like, I don't know, like a GMC from like the 50s or something. <laughs> but here's the old tire. I'm pretty sorry. Alright, time to get home.
So I thought I'd use the dirt scoop at first just to try it out, and uh, after horsing around for a little bit I realized that I should probably just use my uh, rear blade here to spread everything out a little bit faster. Also forgot to mention this is just the first half yard of gravel here, and I'll be putting another half a yard on top for a full yard of three quarter down gravel. As you can see, the rear blade is working a lot better than the dirt scoop was for this. <laughs> but as great as the rear blade is, uh, sometimes it just doesn't beat and raking. It's a little more accurate this way, but it's going to take a lot longer, so I'm just filling in the uh, noticeable low spots as best I can and just kind of getting the foundation set to where I want it to be before the next half yard goes on top. trailer finally managed to bring that yard of gravel home only took three hours anyway so now we got to dump it out and keep on going with our gravel foundation it's almost done it just needs to be filled in spots and we can start to level it let's get to it okay I'm gonna try and level out my rear blade using my little level here so we can hopefully get it pretty flat and true. Let's try it out. Now with that extra half yard of gravel, we can start to finish this off. So again, we're going to use a little bit of rear blade work and a little bit of raking here just to get everything sorted out before I start to level it by hand. Alright, so we got our gravel right where we want it and we have to level it out now. At least as close to level as possible. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a 2x4 it's about eight feet long. Um, you usually want the longest two by four you can have, you can get. But my my tens and twelves are buried underneath my wood pile right now, and it would probably be too much for me to pull because I'm weak. <laughs> so we're gonna use an eight foot two by four. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of scrape the two by four along the gravel, and the high spots will the gravel will start to bulge up and roll, and the low spots there'll be a gap. So what we'll do is we'll scoop it. <laughs> like we'll rake with the 2x4. Does that make sense? And uh, any spots that are low will fill in with gravel and we'll keep going. We'll do that a couple times across just to get everything mostly level. And then from there we'll take my 2x4 which is pretty straight and we're going to take my level and we'll put the level on top of the 2x4 and it'll tell us if it's a little too high in one spot, too low in one spot. So then from there we can start to fine tune everything, get gravel underneath the 2x4 to make it perfectly level and then we'll once we get everything level, then we'll start squishing it down. Oh, here we go. So we'll put the 2x4 on the gravel, and we'll kind of dig with it a bit. We'll start to pull. So what's happening is there's a lot of gravel right here, so I'm going to move it over here where the low spots are because there's a gap between the gravel and the wood. I really hate leveling gravel. It's kind of boring and it t takes a while, but you know, it kind of has to be done. And it's never going to be perfect, but you know, just try to make it as level as possible. And what we're going to do is we're going to go left, right, up, down, diagonally, all over the place until everything is as close as we can get it.
here's what I mean. So as we drag the 2x4, the high spots start to uh, pile up the gravel there. We can see over there, there's a bit of a gap there. It's our low spot. So what we need to do is take some of the gravel that is spilling over, and we're going to kind of fill in the little divot we made, and we're going to keep going until the entire 2x4 has gravel that's um, rolling over because we want all of it to be the same, right? If we have a spot, we fill it up, we keep going, and we're just going to keep doing that for now just to get everything kind of level. All right, so we've used our 2x4 and our eye to make it about as level as uh, we can get it. Now we're going to actually use a level, so we're just going to put our level on top of this 2x4, and we'll take a look here. As you can see, we are almost level. So what that means is our gravel pad kind of looks like this right now. So we're going to want to take the gravel on the right side and push it to the left so we can have something a little more in the middle. So we're going to keep bringing gravel from the right to the left. We're going to start checking to see if it's nice and level in numerous spots. So we're going to check a bunch of spots this way, this way, and then we're going to go diagonally and try and get as close as humanly possible. It's not going to be perfect, but we're not building the Taj Mahal. 